and we um again it, it was a a chance to um play a game that that I thought our guys gave a great effort in you know I thought we started out with the right type of energy the right type of focus you know really we're playing unselfishly you know defending better you know so it's a it's a um, and they were uh, they went they got undersized when a big kid pulled his hamstring so I'm sure that had a lot a lot to do with it as well but um but we're pleased with some of the areas. Other areas will have to continue to get better. Any questions? Uh, Coach, you played seven guards. Four of them had one turnover each. Three of them had no turnovers. So uh, apparently they must be listening because uh, I know you like to emphasize taking care of the basketball. <laughs> yeah, well, and, you know, you want to be um, – Ball security and and take care of the basketball uh, is, is critical. And, and as we move from you know these first four games to some real you know the competition to be a lot stiffer now. And uh, so so and when we need to play that way uh, in every sport, you want to turnovers are the key to uh, to losing. If you want to lose, you, you show me a team that's having a tough time winning, and I'll show you a team that's turning the ball over. So we really have. Uh, really stressed that, but again, we do have some good ball handling guards. I, that was an area I thought we we really worked hard in our ball handling this summer and in the fall, and it's it's paying off. But when you can keep the ball in, in a guy like Jeremiah's hands a lot, and and I'm looking down here, KJ with only one turnover and, and seven assists, and you're right, it was it was impressive the way we took care of the basketball, and even Christian Kessie, you know, six and one because he's been struggling. Some folks jumped us early, I guess, during the season, and, and we turned it over a lot, I guess. Um, it was a UT Rio Grande Valley, so um, um, we've improved in that area. Coach, I guess there's always the danger to become complacent when you jump out to a lead like you did, everything's clicking. You guys did not. That wasn't the case tonight. What did you stress also at halftime with your team? What are you saying that we can't see to these guys mm -hmm. that they come out and don't lose that intensity? Well, I, you know, I think we've got some pretty self-motivated kids that are really um, love playing the game. So it's not a whole lot. Just make the adjustments. For instance, today it was about um, just making sure we were continuing to share the basketball. We made some, you know, they were in the zone, so we wanted to uh, maybe look at a different movement uh, attacking the zone. But mostly it was... Strategical. It wasn't a whole lot of strategy to have to change at halftime. It was just to understand that you know don't don't look at the scoreboard. You know, just concentrate on getting better. Uh, and sometimes that's hard to do. And you can see a, a few times we had players try to do a little to you know, try to get outside of their um, outside of their comfort zone and so we, we we let them know right away when that happens uh, that we recognize it and the team recognizes it so so play the right way uh, and but there, there was not much there's not much we say in the locker room that uh, you know we'll, we'll have to make some adjustments and, and go from there coach even though the the competition wasn't as stiff as it will be this weekend. Talk about the way your team shared the basketball through these first four games, and, and was that an emphasis when you when you took over this program? Well, that's my emphasis in, in the game. You know, it's basketball is a game of, especially it's a, it's a team sport, and it's like anything else. If you can, you can accomplish a whole lot if you don't care who gets the credit. And when the best way to do that is a is to be willing to pass the ball. And I think um, it starts with, with our best players, with our better players in Diedrich and, and KJ, and you know, they're willing to give it up. Uh, and a guy like Jeremiah, he's he's as unselfish as there is on the court. And so we have a lot of um, guys that are very, um, they have that type of disposition that they're giving kids. and. Um, and they care about each other, and so I, you can, I think it it manifests itself on the court, you know. And and in times of trouble, when it's when it's going to get a lot tougher, you're going to need to 
trust your teammates, both defensively and offensively. But um, but I think it all it, it, a lot of it starts at the defensive end also that they uh, are communicating and talking. Uh, you know, it's, it's a good group. They really I'll hear them in there chattering in the locker room and, and uh, they really pull for one another. And that's something we've we've tried to instill in every team we've ever coached. How how, how pleased are you with what KJ's doing? I'm very impressed. You know, I didn't realize he had seven assists. And I looked at this, and so I'm I'm really uh, happy for you know, that he's willing to, because he has that ability. You know, he's he's long. He's you know he can see over most guys because he's playing the three spot now at six seven, six eight. So he's usually going to be matched up with a guy that he probably has a height advantage on, and and he needs to, and so he could be a great, in which he is an excellent uh, passer because of that. Uh, Coach, is it uh, frustrating? Uh, KJ hadn't made it to the foul line in two games, I think, and Dedrick didn't make it at all tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not because they were, you know, I thought the guys kind of allowed him just to get off their shots inside a couple of times. Uh, you know, it was one time I thought KJ could have shot fake, but you know, when they you know, they're getting double teamed and they're finding people open, he spins and so they're not gonna foul you. Teams are not gonna foul. I mean, they'll be playing right into our hands. You know, we committed nineteen fouls. I think they committed seventeen here. So yeah, we like to see them get to the free throw line and they will when they're yeah, you know, when they're one on one with people in the post, uh, versus and and the and good good thing about Diedrich and K J, they know how to get their shot off quick before the double team gets there as well. So I don't know that that's an issue. Um, I wouldn't suggest fouling them anyway <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm opposing team. Okay. So do you think they're ready for the step up in competition? Do you think they're ready for the step up in competition? We'll see. You know, I'm always, we, we'll, you know, we, we try to get them focused and ready and we try to correct the areas we need to correct. Um, and you know, well, you never know. Every game is is a challenge. Every game is different. Every preparation is, you know, the preparation is pretty much the same. But then you have to make the adjustments. Obviously, we'll be we'll see better athletes, you know, at, against Providence. So so it'll be a. Um, I think we're ready. Coach, uh, Thanksgiving holiday is this upcoming Thursday. So what are you thankful for so far mm. this this early in the season? Yeah. Well, I'm thankful for my health, you know, and if you don't have that, you know, we've um you know, I'm thankful for family, you know, that's what you, you know, and and this opportunity to lead the Memphis Tiger basketball program. There's a lot so much to be grateful for and thankful for and, and really I really I really am blessed and um and I was, again, coming from the humble backgrounds we did, we, we understand and appreciate that this is an um, important time of the year. When I was growing up, this was pretty much hog killing time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the neighborhood came together and butchered a hog and, you know, shared it with everybody in the area. So. Uh, we share ham with you all or some <laughs> yeah, it's, and, uh, you know, we, we didn't have a turkey we had a ham no we no it was, <laughs> no, it was um, it's a special time you know it, obviously um, it's a, a, a again we have a lot to be grateful for in this community in this state in this country so um, and um, yeah, we certainly wish everybody you know safety and Good health. That's that's what it's about. Uh, I know my my parents when they were alive. My dad would tell me, "Boys, you know, I would say, how you doing today?" He would always say, oh, "Boy, every every day is a great day above ground. Just trust me." And, um, and, he's, and he's so right. So we've got to. And so that's what we try to teach our players to be be grateful for what you have, be willing to give and share. You know, um, too much is given, much is expected, and the more you give the more you receive. So and that's what this time of the year is all about. Thank you. Have a great holiday. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah.
what do you know about this Providence team? Well, you know, I really... Uh, Ian Cooley is a good friend of mine. We've spent a lot of time together. He's um, he was he coached with Al Skinner, and I know they're a team that that runs the flex offense. I haven't had a chance to watch much of their offense, but I just dropped some notes here. But they're I know they're three and one. Um, so they're they're playing pretty good. They have a kid by the name of Rodney, Rodney Bullock. I watched him play last year, and obviously without Chris Dunn, and they had another kid that was a very talented player. Because we ended up playing Butler in the first round NCAA, so I, I had a chance to watch. Because I think they beat Butler maybe in the in the in the tournament there, uh, and um, so they they've got some some talent. And Ed Cooley is is one of the bright. I'm not going to say he's young, but he's you know, but, he, but he's one of the bright coaches in in America today. Um, again, they they lost a lot of talent last year. You know, they went all the way to the second round. So I know. Um, so he he's got a uh, he's got a good squad coming back. Uh, I think. So this kid riding in Bullock, who's having about 21 points a game, is pretty talented. So we know we'll have our work cut out for us. Okay. Thank you.